First it was moose. It was fast and frantic, involved a lot of heavy breathing, a big moving target at ground level and lots of people. Our calibre 9.3x62, our rifle Zawa 404. Now it is black grouse. It needs to be slow, stealthy. It will require patience and a steady hand to take a shot on a tiny target at the top of a tree at long range. Our calibre 6.5x55. Our rifle, the same Zawa 404. And Kai is understandably daunted. This is hard. This is really hard. Completely new experience, a bit alien. Almost uncomfortable in a way for me, from what you're used to. Yeah, very weird. Very weird. Never shot a small bird with a set of five rifle. In the UK, black grouse are precious and in small numbers. Here they're lecking in the Angus Glens, a display worthy of the Amazon rainforest. Happily, in Finland, they're plentiful. We are right at the end of the black grouse season. Our guide, Jarko, is hopeful that we will see them in this vast forest, but it's going to be tough to call them in, something he does successfully in the autumn and spring. With the moose barrel changed to the grouse barrel, just in case, we head off for a late evening recce and to give Kai a lesson in black grouse love talk. So how do you make the noise? How do you make the how do you make the grouse noise? So do, do, you, do you breathe out? David, the thing is, David's laughing, but he doesn't realise that he's sharing a room with me tonight and could be practising all night long. Okay. <laughs> incorporating gurning into this itself. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> The following morning, while the rest of the hunting party is in the cosy hunting lodge preparing for another day on the moose, Kai makes sure the rifle with the 6.5 barrel is spot on. It's going to need to be. Shots on the grouse can be more than 200 metres. So yesterday we were shooting with a 404 for the moose. And in the evening, Yarko changed the barrel from a 9.3 to a 6.5 and also the scope. Now it's bang on to his eye, but we're just going to check it this morning just to make sure it's going to be suitable for me. Should be, should two shots down the range and uh, make sure it's on zero so we can quickly go out for the birds this morning. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so you can see that this is a full metal jacket designed for the birds here. It doesn't damage the meat so much. It's got the impact but it doesn't kind of expand. A little bit different way that we shoot it back at home. Like I said, we would never point a rifle, you know, above the horizon or, or in the sky. But here, because we're in the wilderness, it's the way that they shoot the birds here. So it's a completely new experience, a bit alien, almost uncomfortable in a way for me, from what you're used to. The ground is covered in reindeer moss. On closer inspection, the ground flora resembles a coral reef. Above ground, Yako points out the moose damage. This is what the mooses are doing in the winter time for the pine tree. They yeah. just cut it and eat a little bit. Keep it cold. 50 yards on, and he spots our first black grouse. It's 400 meters away, so we need to close the distance. We spoke yesterday about your top five hunts, yeah. but any said black grouse and uh, capercaillie is on one of those. Yeah. Why would you put them in your top five? Uh, <laughs> I think the capercaillie is the king of the birds in the forest. If you are talking about the birds yeah. which we can hunt. And magnet, oh, amazing. We saw that one on the road the other day. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. Taking uh, weight five kilograms. At I like that the things are challenging. It's yeah, not, it's not easy to get the, the old Kipper Kelly. Back at home, I don't think people would put that much time and effort into 
trying to obtain one bird. I think it's kind of cool. It's like deer stalking, but in this case, our deer is perched on 25 meter tall stilts. This one is more than 250 meters away. We're at the edge of the forest, so we are as close as we can get. Yeah, I could have a look at this ballistic calculator app now to go with a South or a foreign ammunition, the Norma. Oh, that flew down. That was, that was smack that was, that was... It looks good, but Yarko is not sure. Okay. okay. To be certain, Yarko decides to call in the dogs. Just yards from the tree, Kai finds his first black grouse and a perfect shot. something meters. Yeah. My first black grouse. <laughs> how, how amazing. I'm glad too. <laughs> what an absolute beautiful bird. And the colours are just stunning. Absolutely incredible. And you said it flew 100 meters. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's yeah, it's in the top, yeah, going into the crop. You didn't waste the meat at all. So that's on the top of the crop. Yeah. So the meat's here. It's, everything is possible to use. And I think we should yeah. have some of it, maybe for lunch. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. What amazing, amazing experience. Yeah. It was just like, I said it earlier on, it's just like deer stalking. A little bit for me yeah. because you have to be so quiet you have to try and use the the land and the tree skin position to uh, but these are not deer on the ground these are up in the sky and they can see everything so yeah. perfect thank you very much again it's time for a fire and lunch in a finished forest so the last crops before you leave from Finland yes so half each Tapio. So while Tapio has been very kind to us with his offerings, however, he's forgot the frying pan. So uh, the only thing we have to cook with is a, is a coffee pot that Yarko has got in the back of his truck. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge now to try and cook, a, cook something up for lunch with this. Okay, we'll use that just to lubricate the uh, bottom. It's actually made from ribs and fabric. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Snigger there. Sorry, you're saying it's made with. <laughs> While we're admiring how pretty it is, it's you know it's meat at the end of the day, and uh, we are going to prepare it on the fire. Just simple, nothing crazy. We have some feral meat off this.
I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try uh, so this is a, this looks like a good piece. So this is my first taste of uh, wild black grouse, so. Uh, <laughs> got a really nice flavour. Not gamey, it's delicious and uh, it's pretty special. It's been a very cool trip where we've learned a lot about two different species and the flexibility of modern hunting rifles. To find out more about the Zawa 404 go to zawa.de. For more information about the blazer clothing that Kai has been wearing go to blazer.de and to hunt moose, capercaillie, black grouse, and a lot more with Yarko and Matty, email info at wildernessvoacati.fi.